So let's look at how we find the equation of the line if we're given two points. So here's some of my abbreviations, EOL for equation of lines, and through is always THRU for me. All right, so the two points I've chosen are negative 3, 1, and 5, 4. You'll notice over here I have those plotted. Kind of give me an idea if I'm on the right track when I find my M and my B. So the first thing I need to know is what is my slope, M? Remember that's change in Y, so Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1 divided by change in X, X sub 2 minus X sub 1. Doesn't matter who's who as long as you're consistent. So here we go, change in Y. So 4 minus 1 divided by change in X. So since I started with the 4, I have to start with the 5 on the bottom. 5 minus a negative 3. 4 minus 1 is 3, minus a negative plus a positive. So my slope is 3 eighths, it's positive. So if I look at that line that we're going to be finding, and my B might not work out great because I didn't use graph paper, I just sort of, not sort of, I freehanded. But we should get a positive B. So I have a positive slope, which is what that is, so let's find the B. A couple of ways you can do it. One of the easiest, y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1, and then you just solve for y. This is the point slope formula of a line, point slope form. In the past, I've called this a line finding tool. Uh, those of you who've learned it the other way, uh, go ahead, doesn't matter. y minus, pick one of the points, I'm going to choose that first one. So y minus 1 equals m, we know what m is now, 3 eighths, times x minus x sub 1, so that's going to be negative 3. And then we're going to tidy. y minus 1 equals 3 eighths times x plus 3. Distribute the 3 eighths. 3 eighths x plus, right, think of this 3 here as a 3 over 1 if you need to. Make sure you get 9 eighths there. Add 1 to both sides. How about if I write the 1 as 8 over 8 when I write it on the right hand side? So that I get y equals 3 eighths x plus 17 eighths. Oh my goodness. So we'll call that 2 and an eighth so that we can see it on our graph. Uh, two, okay, we're close. We're going to take that. Oh, and I wrote 3 over 3 there. I meant 3 over 8. There is the equation of the line. So let's go over the steps if you're given two points. Step one, plot them for checking purposes. Two, find the slope using the slope formula. Change in y over change in x. Three, Use the line finding tool. Make sure you have it memorized correctly. And plug in values, numbers, for m, x sub 1, and y sub 1. Last step, solve for y.